They're evolving. The end time is near. There, I see it happening already. They're replacing the statue of Jesus in Brazil with the Intel 17 PC. Wait, why do I care about Brazil? Brazil, officially the <laughs> Federated Republic. All right, I'm only being slightly hyperbolic because I want to exaggerate so we all have a good understanding of what I'm talking about. AI is becoming a problem, specifically its advancement and its efficiency for advancement. In 2020, when ChatGPT just dropped, I thought it was, you know, a party trick. I think most of us did to some extent. <laughs> uh, I think it's a person. But now every company has started glazing it with all of its data. And now it's learned things like timing, nuance, how to draw hands. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but as an artist, that terrifies me. At the rate it's going, AI is gonna start making us question what it means to be human. And do you wanna know what the worst part of all of it is? <sighs> We're gonna do it to ourselves. Why? Because you ever played those kind of games where you have a thing and then you gotta sell more of that thing so that you can get things that make selling that thing more efficient over and over and over and the cycle goes on? Think like cookie clicker, right? Well, the top like 0.01% of <clears throat> wealth in society gets to do that with us. In layman's terms, we're being farmed. And from the looks of it, I don't think people like it very much. We as humans have that sole desire to just make things better and better and optimize and make it efficient, etc, etc. Mostly for the sole purpose of money. It's the reason why we kill the planet harshly every day to gain resources, materials, etc. Because it's quicker, it's easier. They don't care at all if they could drop terminally ill cancer patients into like a, a blender and that would lead us into like 53% more viable energy, they would 100% do it. And then drop like five quarters a year to St. Jude for tax write-offs, but they would totally do it. Now, with that being said, AI is fast, like really fast. It could do something that would take a person an hour in second. It can compile data super quickly. On top of all that, it has a complete lack of emotions or feelings or workplace harassment awareness. <laughs> It makes it perfect for fueling whatever twisted idea you have in your head. So let's put this into perspective. Okay, so pretty much this new AI technology just came out and we can do something really cool with it. We actually don't need 55% of our employees and we can have them do the job for free. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, that does sound quite nice. Give them a three day notice, however, the streets aren't safe out there. And uh, also contact the New York Times, tell them to make an article and call it. Name something that a person can do involving a computer that an AI cannot do better or quicker. Probably can't think of much, and if you can, you know what, I'd love to hear that in the comments, but right now I'm on a flow, you feel me? A hard pill I've had to swallow is that AI is just much better than me at things I like to do. Yeah, of course it is. Don't believe me? This video's title and thumbnail were both cooperated with AI. No, no, that 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 wasn't planned. I just I just liked what a robot came up with better than what I had. Which is gonna be a really weird thing, because if this video like blows up, then it's gonna be hard to grasp that. But hey, at least I'd have a permanent employee that works for free. That's not my major concern, actually. I'm going to college right now for computer science, right? And when I first had the aspiration to do that, I had the thought in my head that was like, oh, you know, this is a permanent job. You can't control what will replace what, so at least be coding it, right? Huh. So AI wants to make English the next language, right? And I fully see how this can happen. ChatGPT, ironically, is very good at coding. Not the best, but give it the idea or prompt for a project, put that boy in the kitchen, let him cook for five minutes, and then voila. After a few minor tweaks, you pretty much have a full project. To put it simply, I really gotta lock in on this YouTube stuff. <laughs> if you could do me a favor and like like watch the some videos after this, that would be greatly appreciated. My literal livelihood is at stake. But anyway, things with a computer like drawing, mining coin, whatever you could think of, is just much easier and better with an AI. It scares me when we're gonna start giving these things like bodies and legs and stuff, you know what I mean? And, Cause like that's just like natural evolution. And when you're in a situation like that, and not even Skynet. Think about like Android 17 and 18. That's where I'm scared of. AIs will definitely take jobs. They already are to some extent. A lot of reviews, journals, etc, etc are already written mostly by AI. Which makes you really feel bad about writing something and watching it flop. <laughs> I worked so hard on that video. I haven't even mentioned the illegal applications yet. AI has gotten so good at video creation that it's about to be at a point where video evidence might not be reasonable in the court of law, which is ridiculous because that's about all we have left. Rather than sending people to death over what someone else says, we'd end up having to play some like wicked mafia game like the Salem Witch Trials. Like it's 1920. Kill them all and let God sort them out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I struggle looking at the camera when I do these bits, I can't even take myself seriously. <laughs>
Almost every source of evidence we have can be easily replicated. People can frame others easily and it could be this whole hoopla that no one really wants to deal with. And it's as simple as writing a sentence. What else could AI ruin for us? Oh yeah. You know the joke that we'd use AI chatbots for our own personal benefit, right? Well, common motif here, it's not really much of a joke anymore. This has become a major problem. Heck, there's websites dedicated to having conversations with Goku. That is to say, the cartel is very pleased. Goku, he betrayed me, Goku. You dishonored my family. He made my mama cry, Goku. What should I do? Well, that person doesn't sound very nice. A person who hurts the ones around him so mercilessly may not change no matter what you do. I'd cut off ties with him if I were you. The people who truly care about your well-being are the ones that matter. You're right, Goku, but I gotta make him pay. He gotta feel what he did, Goku. You could fight him, but maybe he's too strong for you. What if you get a friend or two to join you in beating him down? Oh, you're so right, Goku. Jose, come run an errand with me. Hey, a homeboy, come here real quick. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, who your friend over there? Is that, is that hey, Goku? Hey, it's me, Goku! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Not even that, but romantic relationships as well. Women can be difficult sometimes, and rejection can be painful. Hey, I made a video about that one too. I'm just so good at this. My point is, why go after a real woman when you could have a woman who'll say whatever you want, be whatever you want, act however you want, etc., etc., with no effort on your behalf? You'd be just like Iron Man, but instead of having like a hundred cool gadgets, it would be bad. And it's simple to just sit there and be like, well, you know, there's no physical aspect and, you know, it's not a real person, but, like, you would be surprised how people with a voice filter and a body pillow get down. Ugh. AI is literally making talking to people obsolete. There's a lot of social media platforms that admit that they use AI bots to generate traffic. You could literally be arguing with a robot and losing. Imagine! It's weird to say this too, but there's not really much we can do about it either. Like, kind of not in our hands. I can't even do the whole spiel of make something original because nothing's really original when you really think about it. It's all just like a mesh of things and ideas you've seen and heard before, which is what the AI is doing. I and mean, if you could, it would just be filled into the AI eventually at some point, right? I guess while we still have the time, just value the things that make us human. Don't ever make AI more than a tool, because that's what it is at the end of the day. Oh, oh yeah, and talk to real women. It's worth it, I promise. Have a good day.